Are you trying to poop on camera, dude? Why are you pooping? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Don't want you taking an old dookie in my boat. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I got one that time. I'm talking about choked it. what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel my name is brett and uh welcome if you're new here go ahead hit the like and subscribe button you'll thank yourself later because i feel like i've been putting out some of the best content i've ever done in like the last three or four months so go check a lot of that out and plus stay tuned for the new stuff here's what we're doing today the other day i was walking around walmart and uh, y'all know i don't really film in walmart anymore not because I'm worried about getting kicked out. It's just everybody's on edge with all the masks and stuff. It's just not a good look. But I came across this kit and I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. So we are getting in the later part of summer and uh, I found a topwater kit, an Arborgast topwater kit. Now, if you don't know, Arborgast has been around forever. Um, they've got a ton of famous baits, one of being the jitterbug right there where my thumb is, the jitterbug. It's like a walking topwater bait for people that are too lazy to actually pop the, the pop the rod. Which, if you're in a kayak, it's hard enough to get a walking bait to walk. You need a jitterbug. So I was super pumped about that because we're taking the kayak today and we're going to the pond right down the road. We're gonna see if we can't land some green fish. The other baits in here are two hula poppers. They're like two miniature hula poppers. Everything about this is mini. It's got one single treble hook. The jitterbug has two, but the little hula poppers only have one treble hook. The goal is at least three fish. I feel like the top layer of water is gonna be nice and cool this evening. Well, I think those bass will be pushed up, ready to munch. They're gonna be, they should be in that upper part of the water column now that it's cooler. So let's get to the pond, let's get going, let's do it. All right, folks, slick glass, super calm conditions, no wind, which is exactly what we want right now. I still have got a little bit of overcast clouds back over here. It looks like we do have maybe some rain trying to come in. If it'll hold off for me, I think we got a really good shot at this today. We're gonna do the hula popper first in this white and black with a little bit of a red bottom there. Got this on spin and tackle. Um, literally all of my gear today got brand new line. So it's that time of year. Um, normally I change it out monthly. This year I've been slacking um, and I didn't change it out I think since spring. So everything for the fall season has been redone. All new fluorocarbon, all new braid. I even got a couple setups with mono on it to be doing top water. But this setup right here is a 30 pound braid. And the other setup, my jitterbug setup, because it's a little bit heavier, we are going with a full mono. Um, and then uh, we've got the little jitterbug there. So a little medium heavy setup, full mono. My hope is, is that we can get bit on this little popper and once we get bit on this popper, we'll switch to the jitterbug and then we'll do the other popper. That's the plan. But this is late summer fishing and uh, plans don't always go like you want them to. Let's just start here. One thing I wanna start doing, I wanna start practicing more of and I want this to become a trend. I want to start a new hashtag hook set ready, basically stay hook set ready. Here's the deal. I get out here fishing and I get distracted. I start looking around, I'm not paying attention. Do you realize how many fish over like a few month period that you can miss just cause you're not paying attention? Like maybe they bite your lure, like your, your worm and you fill them, but you're just, you, you wait too long and then it's gone, they drop it. Something I wanna start. Hashtag hook set ready. Every, every one of us struggles with it. But when you're out there fishing, absolutely have a good time, but let's, let's stay hook set ready. Let's watch that bait, let's fill that bait. Stay alert. You can look around, watch where fish are popping, but don't ever lose focus of your own bait. So let's start that all over Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, hashtag hook set ready. Got him. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight him too hard because I don't want him to spit the hook. Oh no, he got it good. Look at this fish. Whoo! Look how you ate it. I mean, I'm talking about choked it. Choked it. 
Yes, sir. A little hula popper fish right there. Are you trying to poop on camera, dude? Why are you pooping? Why don't you do that in private, homie? Don't do that here. You're growing big and fat, and I like it, and you're taking a dump, and I'm going to get you out of my boat before you do that because uh, uh, I don't want you I don't want you crapping. Don't want you taking an old dookie in my boat. Thanks, homie. Hula popper is done, um, or at least this hula popper is done. I want to get on that jitterbug. I think that jitterbug is about to murder some fish. I think it's about to get murked. Let's go. Let's go. Got me all excited. Topwater fishing is a lot like a horror movie. You know what I mean? Like, you know something bad's about to happen. Like, you know you're going to get scared. It's like a fun house, kind of. You know something is going to jump out and scare you right when you least expect it. I think that's why people like it so much. All right. Old black jitterbug. It's a smaller profile jitterbug. Hmm. This thing ain't walking like I think it should. Let's figure out what's wrong with this thing. Something ain't right. I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. We're having to make some crazy adjustments on this thing, though. How did I get ants all over me? Where did y'all come from? Having to tune the walk a little bit. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's try this thing out. Oh yeah, she walking now. Oh my gosh, I thought I might get one back here. It's not the most ideal place for a jitterbug because it's not weedless. Jeez. Don't come off. Don't come off. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Yeah, you just swiped at it. This was pure reaction. There we go. You weren't coming off. There's a little buddy. On the old jitter bug. Y'all are really thick in here, but y'all are all short and small. All right, bud. I gotta let you go. I really appreciate you coming on board, though. And, uh... Fighting the old black jitterbug there. I gotta tie on the other popper. Hope we can get bit on it, and then we're gonna call this one a day. Later. The other hula popper has just got a yellow bottom to it, as opposed to that white and red. I honestly don't know that it's gonna make a hill of beans difference out here. In certain situations, you want different colors on your, your top waters. Right now, with the conditions we've got being a little overcast, dusk, I kind of think it's just reaction. I think they just hear that pop and that bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't think they're even paying attention to the color. There's going to be somebody who get in the comments and be like, well, wait a minute. The color does matter. All right. Got that tied on. We're ready to rock and roll. Oh, yeah, I got one that time. And he got, no, is he still on? Please still be on. Oh, yeah, he's still on. He's a little guy, but boy, he munched it. He's a jumper. Look at this thing. They are destroying this popper. Look at how he ate that one. He came up and just munched it. I mean, look at that. Both fish have eaten the popper just like that. I mean, inhaled it. It's a popper kind of evening. It is a popper kind of evening right there. Yes, son. Got him. I do appreciate the bite. Quite an aggressive little bite. Oh, you're bleeding pretty bad. I'm gonna let you go because I did get you in the gill a little bit. I doubt he's gonna make it. Look at that, look, he's bleeding. He bit it so deep that it was in his gill and I was trying to be gentle, but oh well, it happens. And I don't have Coca-Cola. A lot of y'all may know that trick and uh, a lot of y'all may not, but a lot of times if they're bleeding, if you can get to them early enough and put Coke, like if you've got a Coke, Coca-Cola, you dump it on them, it'll stop the bleeding. But he was bleeding pretty bad. Like when I let him go, he was, he was gushing. I have a feeling that's, that's not good. 
All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Who doesn't love a good topwater blow up? And the way those fish were eating that hula popper was absolutely insane. I mean, talking about down the throat, they were inhaling it. Although, I hate it for that last fish. Um, I definitely got him in the gills and he was bleeding pretty bad. Don't know if he made it, probably not. I really need to start keeping some Coca-Cola with me in the boat, because I think that might have helped a little bit. Um, it would have given him at least a better chance. But if you guys liked that kit, here's what I need you to do, because I'm gonna give it away. All you gotta do is leave a like on this video. You need to be subscribed and turn on the ding dong notifications because that's gonna be how I notify you. It's gonna be in the next video in the description. So I need those ding dong notifications turned on so you know to come back and check the description. And you gotta leave a comment. Which one of those out of the two styles of bait, the hula popper or the jitterbug would work best on your body of water? That's all I need to know. Do those three things, like, comment, so be subscribed with the ding dong notifications on. And uh, yeah, we'll give the thing away in the next video. Guys, I really appreciate all the support y'all been giving me lately. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, this is the start of me getting back to normal posting every Thursday and Sunday along with a live stream on Wednesday. It's just been a little crazy with my job, but things are starting to settle down. So hopefully we'll be back on the normal grind. And uh, as always, hashtag hook set ready. Y'all always stay hashtag hook set ready. Go ahead, blow up Instagram, blow up Facebook with that. Make that hashtag a thing. Every time you post a fish, every time you post, it doesn't matter what it is, hashtag hook set ready. That's gonna be the new hashtag. It's gonna be the new mantra for going into the fall and into next year for this channel. Hook set ready. Don't ever take your eye off the ball. Stay focused out there and you'll catch more fish. You guys have a good one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.